Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Firewatch. My name is Shardeye and today we are hunting bears with a fishing pole. Now I screwed up my recording so you missed the previous conversation over there with Delilah saying that the, we had crews out, they were burning some, some tree lines, burning it back. Which for those of you who don't know, oh is this where I found that bra? Am I going to the lake? Oh that's cool. Oh like the foliage is totally changed. There's a lot more bushes because it's more into summer, not so much the spring. Oh, that's very, very cool that they chose to do that. Anyway, what I was saying was words that I don't even remember. So I'll probably remember them and regret forgetting. Ooh, a clipboard. Oh, yep, screw the fishing pole. Let's read this clipboard here. What is all this? Is it some kind of checklist? What the? Uh, this, the, there's a I lot of words here. Down here and I, uh, what pity station? Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Oh, Jesus, they have. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. That's very creepy. No way. Wait, hold on. What was that? There. Locate strange noise. I'm worried. I want to read the rest of this. Oh, it's too bright. Eat any mushrooms? Did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know. Devastating. Did you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? Absolutely. Let me know. Oh, that's cool. So there's a bunch of conversations that. Oh God, I don't know why. Ah, uh, <laughs> fireworks down there. So D and H. That's kind of. This is really creepy. Can I flip to the next page? I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna grab my fishing pole. First, I'm going fishing. This is what I came here to do. It's a nice pole. What is that sound? I mean, obviously, they're ducks of some sort. Alright, well, let's put away the fishing pole because clearly I'm not going fishing. Toward canyon. Is this the canyon? This is the canyon. So we're going over here. Oh, it's this thing. It's another radio. Oh! Jesus, that actually scared me. Oh, and I'm getting beat to death. That friggin' stick, though. Yeah, I'm here. I may may have just gotten raped. That was a sexual assault. I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Yeah. Yeah, that is extremely creepy. There's not even a there's not even a stick or anything he could have stepped on to make that sound. What transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. Yeah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? This is getting a lot stranger. I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was <laughs> Wapiti. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wibbity Wapiti. Um, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. All right, let me open up the supply cache. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Yeah, sure. That's probably it. There are people listening. Something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't <laughs> what know. What the fuck, Henry. D? This sounds. It's not Henry. It's H. God damn it. Crazy. Yeah, and it you're is not the one who just saw crazy. our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know yeah. they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three? Four or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. It's creepy. Someone is Very creepy. Walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. I think I have my suspicion. If I had to guess, it has something to do with the kids that were killed. What's going on behind that fence? What do you I, think is going yeah, on? Yeah, I'm curious, actually. I'll finish my thought after. Following you around taking notes. 
Which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Okay, back to what I believe may be the thing here. I think that since the cops were around, or maybe someone was around, I don't even entirely remember. It was a while ago that I played the previous episode. But someone was asking questions about the girls that I found down by the lake, and they hinted, or Delilah hinted at the fact that I may end up being a suspect. She didn't hint at it, but I guess what she said made it seem as though I was a likely candidate to be a suspect, so maybe... The people following me around, maybe it's like some kind of private investigator hired by the family or something. I mean, obviously it could be that creepy guy that I'm sure we all believe is the killer of, or capturer of these individuals. So, I, I have no friggin' idea. This is creepy though, if you read this, I'm not going to read all of it, but it did say, did you get my note about what happened in uh, Wapiti? Wapiti Whippity Woo, which is where we're going. Wapiti Meadow. All right, let's see what we have here. An old sweater. Can I talk about old sweater? No, I can't. Ooh, another book. The Fourth Estate. This is an interesting book. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. Yeah, fuck that. I don't want this book. I got plenty of books. All right, closing. I've already gone through that. All right, let's make sure I'm going to the right place. Explore Wapiti Meadow. So Wapiti Meadow is just going to be all right so basically the one thing i like about this game ooh, wrong button okay how do i run oh r okay sorry once again haven't played in a while the one thing i do like about this game is that even though it seems like it's pretty much an open world i can go almost wherever i want there's still lots of paths that make it a little bit easier because at the end of the day it's not really much of an exploration game it's more of just a game where you well, I mean, you explore, but you, you're just playing it for the story. You're not necessarily playing it for the vast open world that some games are these days. That's a very odd pile of rocks just hanging out there. That must have taken some skill. That's right on the very tip. I want to knock it over so bad I don't have any ability to, though. <sighs> nope. Didn't work. Oh, well. Breaking the fourth wall here, blowing down... Blowing down a pile of rocks. Woo! Well, this is interesting. It's definitely going back to Firewatch after playing... Ooh, a fence. Found the fence again. Report fence, or I'm here. All right, I'm here. I'm Looks hearing like the fence move. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Oh, yeah, it would be. It'd be like some Indiana Jones crap. I am actually... The fact that I'm in the middle of the woods... I'm hearing this fence move like something invisible is just dragging a stick around across it. Stuff keeps... This is incredibly creepy! I mean, this game was kind of depressing, but for the most part, it's beautiful and happy. Let me in! Alright. I can't get in. I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Yes, I can! long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Maybe. Where are they? Oh, there are actually other people? Whoa. Whoa. Like, really? I know I'm a little bit chubby, but I can't find any other way over this fence. There's a rock. There's a rock right here that would be perfect for breaking that padlock. All right, anyway, where did I just say? Look for control burns south of Ruby River. Ruby River is... It's five miles... What? They want me to go all the way to that friggin' scout camp? Now I'm wishing... Now I'm wishing that this was... A friggin' massive open world game. Then I wouldn't have to... I'd be able to fast travel. I wouldn't have to walk all the way down there. Well, I suppose we'd better take in the beauty of this beautiful game. I'm bored of it already. What's up with... Can I move this? Can I walk up it? Nothing? No? Nothing. All right, let's climb all the way back up. This rope. Something interesting better happen along the way. This is going to be a long, long and boring travel. Alright, 
tell you what, I'll cut it here and come back whenever this is an interesting conversation. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Of course. Should we call the cops? Anything strange with you? Uh, anything strange with you? Well, no, she'd be honest with me. Are the lookout's telling the truth. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? Because you don't talk to them like you talk to me. To. You're oh, suggesting good. that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? Everyone. Maybe the government. You know, people. I'll I'll just say I don't know because honestly I don't freaking know at this point. I don't know, obviously. Someone who is telling folks I've worked with for years to to lie. Big Brother is not casting a shadow on the Shoshone, Henry. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, wrong, but... I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. Yeah. What? I don't. Intercepting our frequency, tailing me. Well, yeah, obviously this is definitely what's happening. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. What do you mean, Henry? They wrote down our conversations. How you would do that. Yeah, well, you it's a walkie-talkie. It's not no, friggin'. We don't work for the FBI over here. Not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you I, say, boss. I am, I am hiking. <laughs> I'm hiking. I'm doing a good job at it. I think I'm going the wrong way, though. Now, I guess I'm going to have to go to Two Forks and then go down. I know we don't know what's going on it's really yet, far away. I don't have a good feeling. Neither I do I, Delilah. Feeling. Neither do I. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Is that the kid? I don't quite remember. Oh yeah. I'm sure he's fine. Sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? Yep. I don't know. Ned. Ned was a weird guy. It's friggin' Ned. Is that weird? Foreshadowing. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He's on... See? I mean, he's in high school. He's on summer break. There's teenage girls involved. I'm feeling some heavy foreshadowing here that it may be him. Am I even going the right way? Okay, good, I am. Oop, I keep hitting that button to get rid of my map, and it doesn't work. It's not how it works, Shard Eye. God damn. Well, now that I've been walking for a good 30 friggin' minutes. Oh, oh, that's the June fire. Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. Well, let's pay attention to it. Try to put it out? We're just going to watch it. We're going to watch the fire. For those of you who don't know, what they do when there's really large fires like this in the middle of the woods, when it's almost impossible to put them out, or it would take a lot of work to put them out, they actually, they go through and do what you see here, which is they burn the woods in an area around it, so that way when the fire reaches here, the fire doesn't have anything to burn, so it'll eventually burn itself out. And, I mean, that's somewhat counterintuitive to, to some people, but, I mean, it, it works. It works. I'm not a fire person at all, but I know that that's what a lot of people do. But not th four, four, three, four. There we go. I can count. Count four. Ooh, that was ominous. It really took a long time for that to open. I was getting a little sketched out. Map updated. All right, what do we got here? Old toilet paper. Who doesn't love some old toilet paper? Why is it old? I don't need that. There's something underneath that. There's a leaf. Go away. Pine cone. Woo. That's a book. I don't need that book. I don't need that book. I need that book. What is this one? The Accidental Savior. How's this? A JFK book? Presents I think the bells. Huh. Weird. Let's read this note. Really wish that. Hold on. Let's do that. 
Really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that don't that didn't suck ass. Most of <laughs> most of the time, I prefer to keep the thing keep things uh, pen to pa is it things to keep things pen to paper. But every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages along the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm quarter way through this bottle of fee fees? Fifs. Fifes. It's probably fifes. Miss you, Dave. Now, am I not paying enough attention to this, or is there some kind of, like... I must. I believe there were two guys talking to each other, and they seem very close. Firefighters and old scout. Wait. Fi oh, fine. Firefighters. Okay. Poor burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Cool. Yeah. Normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks. Now that there's someone in it. Right. Well, I'm extra appreciative. Yeah. This is what I say. I really appreciate that. Got it. Why are there snowmobiles here? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks a little like bit. The poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Nope. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> fired? Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for Oh, that's, that's funny. How wound up all this shit has me. <laughs> Camp Arapaho. 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 A rapaho. <laughs> Broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Isn't this the ravine? Where is the ravine? This is the ravine. Correct? Incorrect. I think this is the ravine. I could totally jump that. I'm probably walking in the wrong direction. Come on, get out of my way, Bush. I got a forest to save. Smokey the bear over here. There's some there's a tree that's almost chopped down. How is that totally not my way over? Oh, is that it? It looks like it might be it. This might be my ticket out of here. Can I climb up you? No. Did I just waste my time coming all the way over here? I did. Do I really have to go the other way? I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. 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 I'm getting awfully close to this June fire over here. The June. Oh, wait. Here we go. Is this what I'm looking for? Oh, jeez. Come on. I'm pretty sure I even went here. Well, there ain't no coming back now. Totem pole. That yeah, is a totem pole. All right, so the camp somewhere over here. There's some kind of. Oh, here we go. This must be the camp. I'm at the camp. Found the camp. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. Hello. Maybe you just ask them to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. I see nothing at all. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. <laughs> For the past 35 years, yeah. This is like no one here. Can I report that no one's here? Talk to any of the scouts? Oh wait, what's this thing? No, I did not come over here. here in a while, Ooh, an axe. Generally, don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Oh, it's the tarp. I thought I heard something running really fast behind me. Got an axe. I don't have time. I don't have time. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. A throwel. What do I need a throwel for? Can I throw it? That didn't work. Oh well. Like, seriously though, what am I gonna use this for? Just to throw it. Hmm. Memo. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Let's say anything of note. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at 
Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery perk. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. Yeah. They're running a research site out You two there. are uh, ridiculous. He was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? They're researching fires. Us. <gasps> oh, horned toads. Aren't very interesting. Exactly. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? Now, of course. Just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm going to hold on to this. Out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Oh, there we go. This is very helpful. Okay. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that so seemed a little out a way to get over the, over the top. Towards the site. Sounds good. Check it oh, when cool. you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Oh, so that's what this was for. Did you seriously just tell me to keep an eye out for anyone following me? This episode is now going to take me three times longer to complete because I'm going to be looking over my shoulder every three seconds. Whoa. Whoa. That was some skill right there. Where am I going? I did not read my objective. Return to Wapiti Meadow. Really? You're gonna make me go all the way up there. God damn it. Alright, hey we'll be... Oh. I, I had a thought. Yeah? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. I heard a twig. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Yeah. Are right now? I'm right here. Just on my way back? In and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely. Stop not. asking me these creepy ass so, questions. Uh, tell me what you think of this. What the hell was that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, there isn't any way someone like another lookout could be on this line, is there? I don't fuck. I'm fucking looking. I'm gonna stand right here in the middle. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Please call me as soon as you possibly can. We're not. We didn't talk for like 50 days after that. I just waited there patiently. Shut my door, and that's all that happened. As soon as this starts up, hit enter. Oh, I'm just relaxing. Earl Look, I got some leg hair. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th time today. All right, well, I guess we have to listen to this. June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. <laughs> I'm watching Violet, fire. For fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I don't, I'm not even going to talk, because if I talk, I'm going to get sucked into it, because this game is just so friggin' good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Uh, not all that much happened at the beginning, but it got extremely creepy there at the end. Lots of, I mean, it, it's to the point now where I get goosebumps just walking out in the middle of the woods by myself. I'm waiting for something to jump out, because I've seen way too many scary movies, and scary games in particular, of, of being in the woods... If I ever have to go out at night, I swear to God, I better have like 18 flashlights and a tank because I'm not going to, I'm not going to move. It'll be a very boring episode because I'll be moving at one inch like every five minutes and then just circling around and around, like spinning around and around, making sure that nothing is following me. Anyway, I'll move on. You guys all have a wonderful day. Make sure to keep checking back for the future parts. Also, if you happen to be into League of Legends, which I know most of you probably aren't, but I'm also starting a few games of that, too, with my friends, where it's mostly just comedy. It's, it's kind of funny. So check that out if you like. If you want to watch more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. Leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below with anything at all, and I typically respond to most of them that are respond-worthy. You know, if someone says hi, I don't typically respond unless I feel like saying hi also. But anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day.